It's been a very busy last few weeks, but I'm back. And as you can tell from the new environment, I've moved. But aside from that, I'm sure I'll show you around eventually. For now, we've got a little build on our hands. And I say little because it's using the little tiles mod again. We've done a few of these before, and this time we're going to be doing the house from up. So without further ado, let's get into building the vanilla version of the house. Now that we're done with the time lapse, this is the vanilla version of the house from up. I'm sure a lot of you already know what it looks like because <laughs> you've probably seen the film before. But I thought this would be the perfect little house to be able to get all that little refined detail in using that mod. Because as you can see in vanilla Minecraft, you're not really able to get it looking like a house or like the house from the movie. Obviously, it's got the rough shape and we've used all different colored walls and all of that, but it just looks a bit patchy. <laughs> so obviously, that's one thing that we're going to use the mod to help improve on. Up top, it's being carried by this big collection of balloons, which in all honesty, this is the part that I'm least looking forward to <laughs> transforming. Because as you can see, there's a lot of little individual blocks floating around that I'm going to have to turn into balloons. Either way, I've used stained glass for them. Using this shader anyway, it gives that effect that they're slightly transparent. So so they're going to work perfectly as balloons. Anyway, with that being said, I think it's time we start using the mod and see how we can transform this into the actual house from the movie. Let's see what we can do. So I thought I'd start with the front door, the front wall, basically the entrance to the house. And now I've used this mod a few times, but I've completely forgotten that you actually have the ability to make these little slopes instead of actual blocks. Now I know it's not really Minecrafty, but the process is still the same. And we're able to get that slatted wood effect much easier that way. As for the window, we've obviously made each of these working parts, so you can actually open and close the window, which is very nice. And same goes for the door. We can actually open it and walk inside, bearing in mind right now you can't really <laughs> walk through because there's no floor but that's one of the bonuses that this mod allows us to do we can make custom windows and custom doors so they can still look aesthetically pleasing and matching the rest of the build but they also still work as you can see we fashioned it with a bunch of these different locks and latches and all of that remember he's a grumpy old man living here and he doesn't like any intruders or well anyone really so we've jazzed out the door it's even got a little peep hole to look through and of course we've got a little doorbell now this doesn't actually work but you can imagine <laughs> aside from that let's move on
As you can see, we're making swift progress. Practically, this left side of the house is done. And so the changes that we made, I'm sure you saw in the replay anyway, we've added this custom little banister design that goes around the front. We've added the house number onto the front as well. We've continued the wood slats around the left side of the house. So we've done this yellow wall here. And of course, like I said before, they've all got working windows, which is lovely. It's just that little extra addition. You don't need to have it, but it's just nice to have it. Of course, we've got the little window down here as well. Look at tiny it is. <laughs> so tiny. And then we've made this custom A shape for the roof. As you can see, we've got loads of different intersecting roof sections. So it's going to be a lot of finicky work connecting them all together eventually. But for now, we've started with this one simple bit of roof. And of course, we've got this extruding section of the building up top. This is just a little outcropping with its own little roof. And of course, like I said, working window. It's lovely. It's really coming together. Now, obviously, I'm not going to keep the roof blue as it is. I'm going to do it blue all over because that's the underlying framework of the roof. And then right at the very end, we're going to go over it with some brown material to make it look like roof slats. Anyway, yeah, let's move on, shall we? So obviously this is the back side of the building. We've got a little back door entrance as well with its own custom little door. Much simpler in design compared to the first one, but I'm just going off the reference images that I found. Again, we've got another custom working window that slides back and forth, lovely. Again, I've continued the wood slats all the way around to the back here as well. You're gonna see a pattern here. It's gonna go around basically most of the house. We've got this custom little drain pipe that I've not actually connected up just yet, but I'll probably do so at the end. Continue the roof all the way across to this section. So this entire half of the house is complete basically. Of course, we got these little steps leading out of the house. And if we go all the way around to the front of the house as well, I've done the same thing here. So I've just continued the banister down with some steps connecting to the front. Now, also, we've worked on this bay window section here. So it's got green slats going all the way around, connecting onto this orange wall around here. Now, these were a lot trickier to do, obviously, because it's on an angle. So instead of me being able to literally just click there and click there and it do an entire panel, I had to individually go along and do each individual little slope which wasn't fun <laughs> of course we've got working windows all the way around which is amazing and things are starting to really come together it's starting to not really look like minecraft <laughs> which can be a blessing or a curse <laughs> anyway let's move on
Okay, so a lot of changes have been made. We've got this wooden support that goes all the way around the front of that green bay window section. And as you can tell, and I'm sure you saw from the, the video, we've got these custom little wall slats that are not straight across this time, but they're semi-circles, let's say. Anyway, we've got this tiling. It goes all the way up. Looks really nice. If you do get really close, however, you can kind of see it glitching out a little bit so yeah i've broken the mod <laughs> it's basically looking through into the inside of the house not sure what that's about but what can you do i've somehow managed to break minecraft and make it even less like minecraft than it was in the first place so like i said earlier this roof section is a lot more sloped than this previous one anyway and i had to connect it all up which was a little bit laborious but we got there and then lastly you can tell on top of the roof we've got a custom chimney which is lovely and things are starting to really come together And with that, the whole shell of the house is complete. But let's quickly run through what we've just done. So we've completed this side of the house. Very similar wall stuff that you've already seen previously. We've got those wood slats. We've got custom windows in here as well. And I've added this extra little detailing coming down the side. It's all the pipe work, all the electrics and stuff like that. We've got a drain pipe going around the side. Some more of those semi-circle wall slats that go all the way up. And then lastly, we've connected the roof into the main building. And round to the very back, we've also finished things up and connected it onto the blue bit of wall that was here previously simple kind of thing going on with this it was just the wood slats all the way across connecting and finishing up the roof adding another little window up here and then doing some drain pipes along the back and like i said with that it's done so now what we've got to do is we've got to do the roof so we've got to give it a brown tiling effect on top or, or cover it in something so it isn't just blue all over then we've got to tackle the balloons which you can see here i've already started making this custom little one here and that'll probably get used all around here and then I reckon we'll do something for the interior but let's move on get things rolling and see what we can come up with
Okay, things are starting to really come together now, aren't they? Look at this. So as I said earlier, yes, it took a long time <laughs> manually placing in each of these custom balloons, but I think it was worth it. We got this really cool effect going. And no, the center balloon hasn't been customized. It's still regular stained glass, but I can't go in and make that into its own custom thing and then add the stuff around. It, it took too long. <laughs> anyway, by covering it with all of these custom balloons, it hides the original Minecraft cubes and fills it in a lot. It's kind of like a little cheat, basically, but it achieves the same effect. Either way, down at the bottom here, we've tied them all up to the chimney as well, so they're all going down there. Well, not all of them, but the main cluster at the bottom, obviously. And yeah, things are looking really nice. So lastly, I reckon we're going to go into the house, do a little bit of decoration, similar to what I did with Shrek's house. I'm going to limit myself to the amount of time that I spend on it because I've already spent hours on this build and I've got to kind of move things forward. So I'm going to try and limit it and make as much custom interior as I can do and we'll see what we make. Okay, I went a little bit over time. Usually I spend about an hour or so on the interiors and I spent well over two hours, but <laughs> this is what we did. So I've added this intersecting wall just to separate things a little bit. We've added a roof here as well. And we've got a bunch of custom furniture. Obviously we've got his couch here. We've got, this is his missus chair here with a little footstool. They've got little cushions as well. We've got the rug beneath and we've got this custom little table, which you can see I've kind of copied around in a few corners of the room just to fill things up. We've got this lamp. We built up this bookshelf with a bunch of individual custom books now obviously it was just one book and I just changed the color around but repositioning them and placing them in different locations means that you can kind of get away with using the same thing over and over again obviously I could have varied it a little bit making different size books and maybe adding some stuff down the actual back of the book or little designs but I was on a time limit <laughs> either way we've got this custom little bookshelf and then last but not least we've got the record player which is pretty neat I was actually really struggling with this design so I ended up getting a half sphere and then kind of placing it on top and then I just kind of stitch things together from there but it's really really cool now obviously it's not the exact same as his house in the actual film he's got this fireplace here that goes up to a chimney but as you saw from the exterior the chimney's in the middle of the house and so the interior layout doesn't really connect and doesn't really make sense either way it's just a little something inside to fill things up rather than it being a completely empty space but that just about does it and this is the house complete. I didn't quite realize how much this would cause things to kind of lag. <laughs> well, not necessarily lag, but it takes a little while for things to load in just because of the amount of this mod that I'm using. It's all these balloons, basically, that's causing it. So this was the house from up and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've done a few of these mod transformations before, which if you haven't seen already, then you should definitely go and check out. I love doing these little mod detailed transformation builds because you can get real life detail into Minecraft, which obviously you wouldn't usually be able to do. And I will be putting this world up for download if we can get this video to 70K likes. So if you wanna get this world for yourself, you can live in the house, do what you want. It's in a normal Minecraft world, so I don't see why not. <laughs> Play survival, have at it. As long as you get this to 70K likes, I'll put the world up on my Patreon for download. Aside from that though, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.